Sunday service was marked. Blessed Lord, who calls all holy scriptures, be written for our learning. Help us to hear them, to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them. That through practice, patience, that through patience and the comfort of our ho- your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of, of everlasting life which, for which you have given us in our Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Isaiah 45, 22 to end. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I have sworn from my mouth, has gone forth in righteousness a word that shall not return. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear, only in the Lord it shall be said to me of righteousness and strength all who were incensed against me shall come to him and be ashamed the Lord all the offspring of Israel shall triumph and glory Psalm 119 129 to 136 the opening of all your word gives light. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The opening of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my, my mouth and draw in my breath as I long for your commandment, com- commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me as you as is your way with those who love your name. Order my steps be your sword, and let no wickedness have domination over me. Redeem me from earthly oppressors, so that I may keep your commandments. Show the light to your countenance upon your servant, and teach me your statues. My eyes run down with streams of water, because the wicked do not keep your laws. Romans fifteen one to six a reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. We who are strong ought to put up with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Each of us must please our neighbour for the good purpose of building up the neighbour, for Christ did not please himself. But it is written, The insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, so that by steadfastness and by encouragement of the Scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Jesus, with Christ Jesus, so that together you may with one voice glorify the God, the Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ. Gospel, Luke four sixteen to 24 Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. When Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom, he stood up to read, and a scroll, and a scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, "The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has appointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of the sight to the blind, to proclaim the year of the Lord, Lord's favour." He rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to say to, the, 
to them today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing all spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth and he said is not the joseph is it is 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 not this joseph's son he said to him doubtless you will quote to me proverb not to cure yourself and you will say do him do hear also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did at Carpidium. He said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's home town. God of all grace sent his son, Jesus Christ, fed the hungry, and the bread of his life and the world, and the word of his kingdom, renew your people with your heavenly grace, and all your weakness sustain us with your true living bread who is alive and reigns now and forever Amen